What's up guys and girls, this is Tim here, welcome back to Prison Architect. So, if you've watched the last three episodes, I think it was, uh, you'll know that we, we've made a good start, but things are a little bit out of control, it's fair to say. And I'm going to attempt, uh, famous last words, but I'm going to attempt in this episode to try and calm things down just a little bit. And I started on this screen, because if you notice, out of the, what, eight, nine people on the screen right now, uh, yeah, nine. Out of the nine people, eight people are in handcuffs in bed, which I'm taking is probably not a good sign. Also, half of them are injured as well. So it's fair to say, oh no, there are actually, no, no, there's ten people on the screen. Crouch is obviously just had a shit. But um, yeah, obviously that's not a good sign that things are going particularly well. So we are going to try and calm things down a little bit. We've got space for four more people, so uh, I think, what's it saying here? Three prisoners are unable to be assigned a cell. Well, that's not my problem. There's spare cells around, so I don't know why. So, in that end, I think the first step we should approach is punishment. Because I feel like people have been allowed to get away a little bit too much in this prison. And it's about time we started dealing out some punishment. So, we're going to get the solitary wing up and running as fast as possible this episode. Uh, I also think uh, we've run out of the bureaucracy. Or we've done all the bureaucracy things, so we should have a look. And I have been having a look around at a couple of things in here. And I'm quite excited because... Uh, what am I excited about? I'm excited about this, permanent punishment. There is a way, if you, according to this, where I can actually permanently put someone in solitary. And I feel like as we get further through this, I am going to start to notice troublemakers who are grinding me. And I like to have a few characters in these series who I track throughout it. So I think we're going to uh, end up building like a... A solitary prison where we can send all of the troublemakers and keep them out of general population. So I like that. Uh, guard towers was something I was thinking about it actually earlier today, and I was thinking, why aren't there guard towers in the game where you can put like snipers around it and shoot anyone who tries to escape? And apparently there are, so that's awesome. Uh, we're going to have an armory. Uh, having guns and uh, armed uh, guards can cause issues in the uh, prison. Uh, it can generally pisses people off. But I'm gonna, I'm kind of going on high security for this. Uh, this uh this run through so we are going to end up with guns and everything so i because i don't i don't care if they're pissed off as long as they, they get shot if they if they get too pissed off so i'm happy with that uh but straight away i think we're going to get the psychology because we need to know we need to start understanding what the prisoner needs are and what we're not doing well and i want to get dogs as well if i unpause i don't know if they will both run at the same time um no i don't think so but that's fine, they can crack on with both of those, and then once they're done, we can get the dog, so we can keep an eye a bit more of an eye on contraband, and we can also keep an eye on what people's needs are. But for now, let's crack on with building this straight away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this door, just so the workers can get in and out more easily. Yeah, yeah. So if you watch the episode zero that I did, where I sort of planned all of this out and I showed you briefly my previous prison which things didn't go too well in um, I was hoping to learn from the mistakes of that prison but I really didn't learn from the mistakes it's fair to say uh, and I've already had several deaths and several escapes um, so yeah that didn't, go, that didn't go particularly well but I'm kind of feeling like hopefully we're over the hump of that this i'm gonna get more toilets in here just because i don't want them pooping all over the floor basically is my main thinking behind all that uh, i think we've got a lot of toilets in storage yeah i've got 10 toilets in storage uh, i would also like to offer my apologies for the last episode and the whole cloning debacle uh when i edited back and watched it back i was like oh my god timmy i hate you so much it was just it was just painful people Painful to watch. Um, we've got a fortune. Damn it! I forgot it would do it over the walls. I haven't built them yet. Uh, go away, go away. Yeah, it, it was pretty painful to watch. So apologies for inflicting that on you. But uh, we will, we will try and do better this time. Uh, if I do, I not don't think I'm going to build any cell blocks this time. I feel like I've got enough right now. And uh, there's other priorities. Uh, we are getting, we are got 83,000. All them doors just cost me a shit ton. So that was uh, painful, but. Uh, we've still got a fair bit of money left over from selling the last prison, so I'm not overly concerned about ramming the prison right now. And I'd rather get some more of the basics put in place, so that when we do start expanding, we're not sort of playing catch-up all the time. Uh, of course, we can. Uh, there are grants and stuff which we haven't tapped yet, so there's a lot of money we can get. There's probably at least 
50 grand I can get literally the second from uh, Grant so we're, we're, we're not too concerned um, I'm going to well, they've almost finally cleaned up the, uh, the the kitchens in here what I'm also going to do in here is I'm going to put in some more things because I kind of feel like this is a bit cruel and stupid putting uh, all the tables down there uh, so I should probably put them some closer ones so they don't have to walk all the way down there I want to just check something here quickly before I do that though 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I can get about 21-ish tables in there. Each one has 20 trays, so it's about 400 meals. So that, that should be sufficient for now, at least. Um, although I put all this in here, I'm going to get rid of this. And we're going to leave a gap, because I feel like I'm going to have... E I was gonna say, why didn't that go away? Uh, I'm gonna leave a gap, so we're gonna do a gap bench. I'm just gonna stick in a load of these right now, just because I want to make sure I get the spacing right. Because if I have to come back and do this later, it's gonna annoy the crap out of me. So my aim is to put some benches up in this area, so it makes me a bit quicker for people to get in, and get their food, and get out. But uh, this is a very inefficient way I'm gonna do this. But eventually, all of these whole room is gonna be filled with these. So. It doesn't make it that bad. Uh, I, oh, I'm sorry, I know I should do it that way, but like, after the whole cloning thing last time, I just feel like if I don't do it one at a time, I'll end up fucking it up and have to redo it all again. As is my want in this game, it seems. And Once we've done this, we'll get an idea exactly how many we're going to end up with. Um, I mean, I think it doesn't actually matter. I could ram all these in together and they can sort of walk over them. But I kind of like it. I want it to be... Ooh, that's, that's a jail door. We don't need a jail door. Uh, I want it to be, you know, pretty looking. I might leave that for now. I'm going to leave one gap. One gap. And then gap. Benches are surprisingly cheap, actually. I thought there'd be more than this. So I have no idea if anyone's going to watch this episode and what I'm about to say I was actually not going to mention until uh, I actually get to it but I'm too excited not to mention it. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while you'll know that I have been you know, going on and on about virtual reality for months now or certainly since pretty much the first episode I ever recorded I think. Uh, if you think that's bad then have some pity on my... Uh, Friends and colleagues, because I have been boring the shit out of them about VR for about a year now. Why the fuck is there no one in here? But the uh, yesterday, I finally, finally put my uh, proverbial money where my mouth is, shall we say, and I have bought myself a HTC Vive. Uh, it's obviously not here yet. It's hopefully going to be here uh, in a couple of days' time. Uh, but yeah, I, I have done it. I have treated myself to the thing that I've been following since pretty much the Kickstarter days of Oculus. And I, I, I could not be more excited. So, there will certainly be, in one form or another, some VR content coming to the channel. Uh, I know I'm a little bit late to the party. I know like, a lot of people have done VR and it's nothing particularly new. But it's new to me, so you are going to be seeing some of it. Uh, so, I'm not sure what the first video I'm going to do is, but I am I am mega excited about that. So, yes, yes, good good times for all. Right, looks like they're almost done with solid food. Missed a couple of walls by the looks of it. Uh, don't lock open anymore. Oh, can you get out of time? Yep. Yeah. Oh, also, I mean, I said it. Uh, no, I didn't. I said it. I said it in the very. There we go. I said it in the very first episode of the failed series in this. But um, part of the reason I decided I would start recording on this is well, partly because the Factorio series came to an end, and this is kind of a nice replacement for that sort of I like I like this kind of game I like this kind of strategy game so uh, this made for a nice replacement to the Factorio series but I've also been watching Nerdcube series if you if you don't know who Nerdcube is well congratulations for finding my channel and not a person with three million subscribers but go check him out he's a, he's a really good guy real funny guy he's got you know big big channel been around for quite a long time and he's really good at, at games uh, and he's been doing a Prison Architect Complete series, and that was part of what inspired me to want to play it as well. So, um, but yeah, I've been watching it, and I was watching his videos last night, and he, one of the things he found is if you right-click on things, 
so you uh, we don't need to be in planning. If I right click on things, you can open doors just by right clicking. So no more click on it and then go over here and do that. So, ooh. Why did everything, <laughs> why did they all open then? Did I do something to make them all open? Uh, close? Or is it just because it's the, the time of day? I don't know. I feel like there should be more people in uh, in prison right now or in solitary right now. Ah, oh, deployment. I have deployment. I didn't think I did. Okay, we need to start putting some deployment stuff out there. So, wait, did I really unlock patrols and not deployment? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> I did. Brilliant. Let's get that as well. Almost got dog. Oh, they are both counting down. That's quite nice. So we'll get that. Get that. Get deployment. And then we can actually start the move because I really, really am very nervous about the fact that all of my prison cells are not guarded right now. And I have no idea what's going on in here. I feel like that's a bad thing. I don't even know where all those fucking prisons are. I don't, I don't also see why they're all in here. I don't know. We should probably get on to the infirmary. This is the infirmary. I'm thinking, what the fuck? What, what is J? Um, but it's not. It's, it's infirmary. I just somehow have lost the eye. Alright, so let's lock this one open. Oop, someone getting strip searched. This is the benefit of the reception, by the way. If you have a reception, they all get searched and stripped on the way in. So it, it helps to stop shit getting into your system. Is there somebody in the wall there, or are you? Ah, oh, there was, yeah. That's a bit rude. You ram them into the wall. Okay, so we're going to get... That's the morgue. This is the infirmary, so let's get this set up straight away. Um... Say that, have I even unlocked? Do I have to unlock it? Oh, fuck, I did. Oh no, I know, I've already got the infirmary lock unlocked. So it should be there. I'm just blind as always. There it is. We do this, we should start clearing things up as well. So more. Oh, we're 82,000 money. So we're, we're good on money, but we do need to keep an eye on it. A couple more uh, cells are going to destroy that, I think. Uh, how optimistic are we feeling on the, uh, <laughs> on the morgue side? Apparently, they can go right next to each other, so let's just do that. Medical beds. Uh, we're gonna uh, do there's like drug treatment programs and things like that that you can do, which will need a few beds. Um, we can probably at some point stick more in the middle or squeeze them in closer together, but eight should be fine for now. What else do we need? Medical bed. That's it. And uh, we need to hire a doctor. Uh, so be two doctors for the um, what they called. What's the word I'm looking for? Have I not got an accountant yet? Chief soft no, I haven't got an accountant. <coughs> accountant woman. Would you clear your throat? That's what I do on videos. And it's inappropriate. Okay, I really wanna One thing I might do though is I might I might build in the the yard now. Uh, build this wall all the way around. Um just so I can have another way for them to get into here without having to walk straight through the kitchen because that seems dangerous and I would like to as far as I can keep the prisoners out of the kitchen this is my thinking how many are in solitary what's wrong with this fail not surrounded by walls oh it's good I don't know why these doors are all open they shouldn't be one's not. Oh, is it? Oh, it's because there's no one in there. They only close when there's someone in there. That makes sense. Uh, can somebody prioritise doing this, though? Uh, lock shut. No, we, we won't even do that. That's fine. They'll do it. We've got enough solitary uh, solitary cells for now. We, uh, we should probably get to visitation as well, actually. Let's, let's do that, because they're going to start getting pissy about not getting visitors at this rate. Uh, just the rest of the medical beds in the morgue. I kind of feel like this should get cleaned up. That's pretty shitty for a uh, for a prison. Should we, should we have like should we have the prisoners coming into visitation via uh, via solitary? That way it'll be like if you don't don't stay in line, there'll be no visitation. You'll be locked in a two by one cell with a toilet for a bed. That's pretty mean having a toilet for a bed. Ooh, I didn't realize how dangerous things were. Uh, have we got the psychiatrist yet? So we can find out what it was shitty about. Uh, ooh, one minute. Awesome, right, hire a psychiatrist, psychologist even. <coughs> yeah, 
yes, yes. I don't know why they all do that when they're high. It's like, <clears throat> yes, I've just been hired at a prison. Needs. Ooh, that's not good. Why, uh, why is no one eating? Uh, let's give him a bit more time for eating. I want him to shower straight away in the morning. I know that free time causes problems, um, but for now I'm going to have a free time. Uh, we can have a bit more sleep time. Yard time, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm wondering if they if they literally can't get through here. Let's fucking let's get these walls built straight away. Cause I'm starting to get nervous that there's something going on there. It's bad. Um, let's do this. When I build these foundations, this, all these walls will be made, will, I think, save me money. I can't, I'm just, as I'm saying that, I'm wondering whether that's true. I'm not just making that up. If we do that, then we can give them a bigger yard. Yeah, yeah, that's good. When are they going to eat? Right, they should be eating at 12. So let's keep an eye on what happens at 12. What do you do about this visitation here? I feel like I should put this foundation in here just to keep it as for something later. I don't. I think I can't have them come in this way. They're going to have to come in through here. Um, I don't think sending them through the morgue to visitation is going to go down well. I want to use the booth, so. Maybe we have so, uh, visitation. Uh, right, needs a table or a booth. Maybe we could have like both. We'll have tables and booths. So the, the human humans, the non-prisoners probably a more uh, fair fair <laughs> use of the term rather than non-humans um, let's just for now the prisoners are going to come through there um, visitor booth right which side is the prisoner right so the prisoners assuming that will stop them from being able to this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that'll be like scary prisoner visitation for when they're, when they're mean people. And then, if they're if they're good prisoners, they can then come out into the open area. But if I should have more more booths than that, but I'll do for now. This is the table. You can what well, you can't have the uh, prisoner at the top. It's weird. Fair enough. Um, how many of these can we fit? Can we fit twos? There we go. That should. Uh, I then built it. Yeah, I'm thinking, why is that not right? But it's just because they haven't built it yet. So that that's pretty uh, pretty sizable visitation area there that should serve us for a while yeah, put that in there hopefully that'll tidy that up once it's built uh, let's just lock that one open did I did I start deployment or did I not I did start deployment good right we can get doggies we need to get a kennel in um, so we're gonna put a kennel down in here um, I'm thinking like this storage room might be make for a good kennel then they can come straight out into this area here and we and out into the front area. Um, I'm gonna have, I believe, I'm assuming the, what are they called, the doggy people will have, right, can you move all that shit out of there please? We'll have their own keys, so if I click jail door, they can get in and out. The jail door, 
I don't really want to jail door there because if they have the riot, they'll break through there and there in no time. Got the staff door there. I don't know how many kennels I need. Probably quite a few. Dog prey, not kennels. Uh, okay, that's the maximum I can have in that space, but that's fine actually. Can we get rid of that one? So yeah, so they can go out that way in through the main prison, or they can come in that way through the uh, non-mainy prison thing. Um, minimum five by five. Ooh, is that going to be a problem because it's not 5 high? Or does it just have to be 25 blocks? Close, surrounded by walls and doors. So it will be once they build that wall there. Which our little lady here is doing. But if it's not, we, we can move it if it's not. I'm not too concerned if it's, uh, if it's a problem. We can make some more sofas in here. I feel like they deserve a couple more sofas. Are they, are they the wrong way around? Um, I don't know. I don't know. No one seems to be using them, so maybe they are the wrong way around. Right, let's speed things up and get them cracking on. Okay, there are prisoners getting into here. still waiting we're still waiting we're gonna have dog patrols in here oh, it's not big enough be 21 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 oh, oh no no it's 33 blocks but it needs to be it needs to be five high Uh, hang on a minute, where's, let's just work out where this door's going to be here. Uh, what are you doing? Are you just stuck in the wall? So, let's see, two, four, five. The door's going to be there. So yeah, uh, it's not going to be quite right, but I could run a wall here. Jail door there. Concrete wall there. And demolish that. Oops, sorry. There we go, guy. You can rush out there and off you go. And then we need to extend that and so that it's all thing and then that should in theory be nope. Let's see. What oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? Did, did you not see you even saw one of your mates go round it? You waited for somebody to open that door for you. What is going on with this guy? Uh, I'm going to leave you there for a little bit, I'm afraid. But if you don't get your act together, you are going to get fired. So just uh, just bear that in mind. Exhausted. Um, we should get rid of all these. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't dump, don't dump. Dismantle. I don't want to dump them, these are freaking expensive. Uh, uh, let's put them back in, in more sensible places. Like that. I just thought that's not inside. That's that, that's outside, isn't it? Yeah, so that shouldn't work, but it, it apparently is. For me, beat me to it, you bugger. Uh, three is a fun. It doesn't really matter, does it? Okey doke, 
get all them broken down and then we can pump some more in here. That and we're getting rid of that. So can I put turn this into a foundation now? Guess so. I know what my doggy's outside. I know dogs live outside, but not my dog. My dog will barely uh, sleep at the bottom of the bed. She feels like she should be under the duvet on my freaking pillow. Grumble, grumble, grumble. But she does keep it nice and warm for when I come to bed, so I, I can live with it. Nope, all the uh, janitors are out. Yeah, that should be alright. I don't know who's trying to do that, because they're... Uh, Failed 11 times, no root. That's because there's somebody stuck somewhere stupid, isn't there? Oh, we did the wall. Hmm, the wall is done. If we can get rid of all this. We can open up and give them more space. A giant yard, but like I say, once we get up to the big sizes, we're going to need, need a giant yard. And then the next step is also to get rid of that. Is that the middle? Double check if that's the middle. 39, so that means it should be 1920 uh, should be the middle. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So that one's the middle, so we need to get rid of one more there. Probably not, given my performance last time. Oops, someone got caught with something. Right, oh shit, we need to uh, find, <laughs> do the deployment. I've meant to do it three times now. Right, we need at least one guard in there. We need at least one guard in there, just so we can see what's going on. Uh, we need one in there, one in there. We need one in the entrance. Uh, one in there. Kennel we don't need. Trouble in there. Trouble in there. One in the kitchen. One in there. Should do for now. Right, so the plan, well, the reason I've done this is... Has this still got plans underneath it, has it? Don't know. We're gonna do this is this is one of my tactics that I've used before, and assuming that they haven't, how much money we got? Forty-four grand. We are getting freaking money. Uh, assuming we haven't, they haven't changed too much, that this won't work anymore. I am going to do it again. So basically, what the thinking here is, or the main thing I know is the last time I played this game is they get really, really shitty if um, if they start getting bunched up into groups. So the thing you really need to avoid is like choke points or bottlenecks where they will get stuck in together. So rather than having doors into the canteen, because for several times a day every single person really wants to go into the canteen, I have big openings. And in those openings I like to put big lines. I mean I may extend this to the point where it's like hot, more than like two thirds of this wall. I like to have the big rows of metal detectors so that uh, anyone going through there basically get scanned and having it by the canteen means that sort of twice a day everybody gets scanned or three times a day depending on how often they decide to feed, feed them we're also going to hire dog warden several dog wardens and assign them to there so there's one they're going to have a dog guy walking around they're going to have a dog guy in here like that so that he will check everyone coming in and we probably want somebody else where do we else we want a dog patrol out the front maybe I don't know you want them in places where they're basically gonna like get a good chance to check everyone for, for drugs maybe we just have a guy Doing a full circuit. There we go. Have we have one more? How many I can't hire? How many did I hire? Six. 
this. Ooh, I had m way more. So I've got one, two, three. Probably have a dog patrol in there as well, then probably would be a good idea. Get everyone the newbies as they come in. There we go. Okay, so we have dogs checking people at various points. So, you know, we might. We've got one. Well, I think we've got one left, haven't we? So. Put another one on the on the big route. Awesome! I like the fact that we've got that. Now, uh, next thing I need is guns. The more people we shoot, the less prison cells we need. That's my mentality. Oh, oh the dogs are already kicking off. <laughs> uh, good news is we have lots of solitary cells for you. I don't know why they still haven't built this? I can't, it's the annoying thing is I can't, uh, if I, can I, I can't go down to the lower level to get to the freaking wall that he's building. Uh, maybe I just had a plan in there, maybe I never actually built the walls. <laughs> I love the way the dogs come in and then literally everyone gets arrested and put in jail. Did we have a drug problem in this prison? No, no, no drug problems. It's just vicious tabloid rumour. Uh, utilities. We need to start thinking about hot water as well. Because it's 21 degrees, so we're, we're not doing too bad at the moment. But Pretty soon it's going to start getting cold and everyone's going to start getting shitty. There we go. I beat your guard to it. And... Whoop. Uh, can I not open these? There we go. What are you doing? Are you healing him? There you go. Do we not have a guard in solitary? Oh, we definitely need a guard in solitary. Uh, we should also... Oh, we shouldn't have that locked open for definite. Uh, because they can get contraband in here. So we should. the other thing we need to put is a metal detector at the gateway here. I don't like having these trees here either. I feel like that's uh, asking for them to cause trouble. Yeah, extend the yard so it'll help you spread out a bit. Uh, yard. Probably put some entertainment stuff in the yard and uh, build the common room as well. Yeah, we'll build a common room and then I think we're going to wrap this episode up. So I'm, I'm just trying to I, I came into this episode saying I wanted to calm things down a bit, I wanted to take it a little bit slower. I like when I see rack it while it writes, you know, let you know, just let things, you know, settle. Because things have been a little unsettled. So uh, I feel like I've done that. I feel like we've uh we've uh <laughs> things are not quite as desperate. I don't think anyone's died this episode, so you know that's that's a win. You know. No one getting murdered is always a win in this game. Uh, we haven't had any escapes. So that's another another win, you know. So mission accomplished. Right. So in the common room, you need to have places for like group sessions, big group sessions. That we want to have. Can we do the big TV? Have we got the big TV? Ooh, we've got radios. I've never seen radios in here before. Uh, Couple of radios. Ooh, okay. Let's see if this is working. Why? Oh, clothing. Laundry. Laundry will be next episode. <laughs> I always forget about the laundry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, people. I know you want uh, laundry, but you know, you know, if you want clean clothes, you shouldn't have committed crimes. It's my motto. Uh, two. We now have. Two big screen TVs, because I like big screen TVs, and I assume prisoners like them too. The to sofas. I have our. No one's sitting too close to the TV, they've got bad eyesight. We haven't got enough cushions. Three sofas. Oh, go away. More sofas on the background. They can just chill out there. Uh, 
little quadrant of uh, those. And what else do we want? Phone booths. We, we, yeah, we want phone booths. Let's put them there so they'll annoy the crap out of everyone while they're uh, watching television. And I'm going to dump a load here. That way they won't get as shitty about being away from their uh, their family and friends. And then let's dump a load of these somewhere. Put them down here so they'll spread out a bit. It's going to be the gym area down here. The gym area means it's going to be where all the, rate, the uh, benches are, because they don't, uh, the weight benches, because they don't have anything else in this game. Uh, the benches along there. seating area where they can have their little gang meetings once we start seeing gangs around. Uh, what else we want to put in? Large window? Can you give people windows? Maybe I could give like the ones on the outer window. They can be like the, uh, the privileged few. At some point we're going to put bookshelves in everyone's bedrooms I think, but not right now. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to put out in the yard? Kind of completely forgot. Arcade cabinet. I don't think they're. I don't think they're good enough to get an arcade cabinet. Not yet. They haven't. They haven't. They haven't been good enough. Mm. Oh, that was what I was going to do. I was actually going to put. I could put some outside showers. <laughs> I don't know if they'd like outside showers. So I was thinking about maybe putting like a little communal shower room somewhere just for anyone who's like away from their cell and suddenly decides they want to have a shower. But we'll, we'll figure out that on the next one, I think. Because I think we are running out of time. So there you go, guys. We've got a lot done today, I think. We've got solitary up and running. We've got the medical wards up and running. we got... Um, I don't know why they're all just having a freaking freak out over there. We got the metal detectors up and running, so uh, we should probably turn that into a staff door so we can lock them out of going through that room. Uh, actually, you know, it's quite an easy way of doing this. Uh, have I got logistics yet? No, I don't. I need logistics to be able to turn that into a staff-only room. But yeah, still quite dangerous, still quite pissed off. Have we got anywhere better off with needs? I'm sure everyone's going to be shitty because of the whole clo recreation. Uh, to be fair, I haven't actually built the stuff in the yard yet. Once the yard gets built and the common room gets finished, they'll uh, they'll be a bit, a little bit happier with that, I think. But for now, guys, we are going to wrap it up. So next episode, more cell blocks, uh, more uh, laundry, and just generally uh, carrying on growing this behemoth of a base. So for now, guys, that's going to do it. Though. So I've been Timmy, and uh, this has been a prison architect. I uh, hope you're enjoying the series, and I hope very much that you'll check back for the next episode.